So yeah, I am technically kind of new here. I'm a transfer from a D2 college, but being part of this family and, and growing with these people, as it, it's amazing. I haven't gone anywhere. I haven't been on any team like this or part of any organization where we truly are family. I have honestly loved that my family gets to come to it all the time. And um, yeah, I guess my family being able to come. So when I was at Spring Hill, my parents still made the trip, but like my grandparents weren't able to make the trip. So having these last two years, having my grandparents being able to come has been great. The past uh, McNeese Conference Series that we just played over Easter weekend, that uh, that first game, it ended with that rundown, and I think that rundown was probably one of my favorite moments of softball. Um, Red and I really did the job in getting that runner out, because had that runner scored, it would have been a tied ball game, and they had another runner on base, so it could have been a different ball game had we not got that runner out. So I think me making those quick decisions and helping Red to get that final out was just something I'll never forget. I think there's a lot because this team, these girls are always laughing, but the bullpen, the bullpen is, has been my good part of the day, no matter what kind of a day I'm having. They always get me laughing. Even if I'm not in a good mood when I get there, I leave in a good mood. We have this joke that Coach Jay can hear us. We just know she can hear everything we say because she's like a mom. And so every now and then we'll talk to her, even though she's not there. We'll be like, okay, Coach Jay, what about this? Or just this funny thing, and we are always cutting up. So yeah, the bullpen in general, we are always laughing. I think it's crazy, especially after last year, people started talking to me about the, the whole year. It's crazy how many fans we have that we don't even know. People told me they watched our games, but I didn't even know these people. I didn't even know these people followed us, and they were so pumped. They were at work putting pictures on Facebook of them watching our game at work and they don't even know us personally but just to be a part of this community and have this support from people it just it still blows my mind that people watch us play and we don't even know them we've never met these people and they just want to be a part of this community and want to celebrate with us so it's great um thanking God first and foremost especially these last couple days just he has blessed me in so many ways and thanking my parents. My parents, I don't think they've ever said no to a dream of mine or if they, if I wanted something and I was going to work for it, they were going to allow me the opportunity to do it and to strive for it. And I can, I don't think I'll ever be able to repay my parents for everything that they've done for me and the support that they've given me. Um, my coaches who believed in me when I didn't even believe in myself, because honestly, I didn't think I was good enough to play D1 and they assured me that I was and that they were going to give me a shot and Apparently they were right. So, yeah. Um, my teachers who have worked with me in making up schoolwork, making up class time, making up tests, um, because we know more than anybody that being a student athlete is hard and they've really helped me. And, and my advisor, I've had like four advisors throughout my college career and this lady is a gift from God. That is the only thing. Miss Jennifer Plazos, I love you. You are the absolute bomb. So yeah. My favorite thing about being part of this era is uh, I came from JUCO and so um, at JUCO we were a winning team and so like coming here to a more winning team and more successful team it was, um, it was a really good experience and like everybody uh, welcomed me open like with open arms and um, it's really it's really good to be here like and just like be with another family especially because I'm like five and a half six hours away from my family. Um, so it's really good to be around all the girls and uh, they make me feel like I'm at home. It's definitely a, uh, a better experience at home um, and um, especially you don't have to like travel on the bus and everything, that's the worst part. And then, um, but like being at home, uh, I really like to see how big the crowds are. Um, it's really amazing to me how many people come to our games. Um, you look up in the stands and there's like barely any spots for them to sit and then there's uh you look down the line and there's just people just all down the line like you have football players basketball players you have different sports coming and watching us um and so uh that's probably my favorite thing is like how everybody even like all the athletes come and support everybody last year i um had to take a medical red shirt because i had my third knee surgery so um uh, my favorite moment is probably like 
learning how to be a different um, aspect to the team, uh, be more of an important aspect to the team. And um, instead of like, I've been playing softball my whole entire life. So um, whenever it comes, comes down to it, I had to learn to be a better teammate not playing softball. Uh, so it was my favorite moment um, just because I, it was a really big teaching moment for me in my life and it was uh, very hard to go through but being on this team everybody uh, helped me through it. Last year we were at uh, Belchick Park <laughs> and um, everybody always makes fun of my accents because I'm from Mississippi so um, and I thought it was common knowledge. I thought everybody knew what a potato log was and nobody did know what it was. So I went around asking everybody like, you know what a potato log is? You know what a potato log is? And they were like, no, Megan, what is that? And like, they were all looking at me like I was stupid. Like, like I was just a special child and I didn't understand. <laughs> well, I asked, um, there was a one girl on the team last year I was from Mississippi and I asked her, I said, uh, do you know what a potato log is? She said, yes. And I was like, okay, well, I guess it's just a Mississippi thing. And so everybody always makes fun of me because of the way I say potato log and the fact that I know what a potato log is. <laughs> what I love most is the teams, um, like not even just softball, like I, like I said earlier, I love um, the football teams and the basketball teams and uh, soccer and everybody. Like we're all like one big family, um, especially because like a lot of us, we all tried to go to each different sporting uh, event and uh, we all tried to support each other. And so um, it's my favorite, like, walking around campus and, like, you see all the other athletes and, like, most of the time all the athletes know each other. Um, and so it's just important or it's really fun to, like, get to know everybody, especially as somebody that's, like, not just on our team. I'd like to thank the coaches for giving me an opportunity uh, to come here. It's been my dream to play Division One softball my whole entire life, and um, I want to thank them. And then uh, my teammates for everything they helped me through. Um, last year whenever I was struggling um, with my injury and then uh, I want to thank my parents and most importantly my brothers because they um, really helped me um, with softball and um, uh, it was just really important uh, I guess definitely was a uh, we that's how we got closer together as a family honestly and um, my brothers helped me a lot they helped me mentally and physically with softball I feel like it's a really big deal for the seniors because like, <clears throat> you know, our program was already going up when we came in, but I feel like we really took it and we ran with it. And I think that our our seniors are really the class that uh, was just, a, it was just a complete culture shift. And, you know, the years before, we just, we wanted to start a winning, a winning, you know, winning culture. And, <laughs> and that's what we did. And it's just really special to be a part of that because like knowing like when I leave here like we really left everything we could on the field and it's going to show for forever probably cuz like I mean we really set we really set a tone that it's going to be hard to break down, you know. It's just easy. Like I would say it's easy because like you know, it's hard to beat us at home solely because like it's where we play, where our fans are. We know the field, how it plays, we know how to hit the ball on the field to get good hits, you know. Um, it's 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 a really big deal playing at home because, you know, there's so many people that come out to support us and we always want to do well for them and do well for ourselves. And so, like, you know, we want to win so more people come watch us play and, you know, get more invested in the softball program. I think my favorite moment or favorite play was uh, in the conference tournament. I can't remember who we were playing, but a ball got hit in the left field, and <clears throat> it was a for sure home run, and I caught it over the fence, and that was just a really big, uh, you know, really big deal just because, you know, saving a run and whoever else was on base, if there was other people on base, you know, with two outs, you know, catching a ball over the fence, that's, that's really rewarding, I guess. But the funniest thing that I can think of is when Ronnie was running from first to second, and she totally tripped around second base. That was probably my favorite moment in my entire history of softball. So I think we were playing McNeese maybe, and she just completely just fell right over her second base. It was a good time. I guess now that I'm graduating, you know, it's just like, this is a great place to be an alumni of, you know, cause we don't really have a whole lot. So as an alumni, like you get to see like what, like, I guess because I've played here, I get to see like what we do and we don't have and how we've still prospered through everything. So just being a Colonel, it's just, I don't know I just feel like it's really rewarding because you know we do we do we don't have a lot but we do a lot with what we have I'd like to thank my parents for sure like I couldn't do anything without them I uh 
they're just they're an integral part of everything that I've done here at Nichols just you know from getting me here taking me on trips during select ball getting me recruit you know helping me get recruited getting show to coaches you know and you know I couldn't I couldn't thank them enough and I would like to thank the coaches for recruiting me and just my teammates you know I couldn't have asked to be on a better team I mean I've never been a team that's a part of a family like we are and I don't think there's anything better than that being a family with 29 other girls like It's really special for me to be a part of one of the most successful eras in program history. I'm extremely grateful and humbled to be around such amazing talent um, and people that you know strive to be just as successful as you do. And um, it's just really a special thing knowing that you know you were just a little part in such a, a something that was bigger than yourself and um, bringing back a championship to Thibodeau in, in many years. Fan base here is second to none. I've seen it grow, grow from over the last four years. And um, getting to play in front of our many fans, my friends, um, our families, is uh, something that can't be replaced. So I'm very grateful that I decided to stay home um, to where I could see this growth in the fan base and also allow all my friends and family um, to be there to see my career uh, play out. My favorite moment in my career is by far the day when we secured uh, the regular season conference championship. I think coming in, that was one of my main goals is to be a part of a championship uh, program. And um, that day and that night uh, was one of the happiest uh, moments of my life, knowing that you know all the hard work, all the years of grinding it out, and um, and us actually, you know, finally securing the championship was uh, one of the most special things in my career. I'm gonna be a Colonel for life. I mean, I, I bleed Colonel Red uh, so much. I love this university, I love the program, and I think it has a lot to do with the people here. From our community, all up until my friends that I'm gonna call my best friends forever, the people here are second to none. And walking away, um, I know my career is over, but the people that you know I've gotten to meet, I've gotten to be best friends with, will last forever and that's something I'm the most grateful for by choosing to come to Nichols. Uh, first, I just wanna thank God because he's given me the grace and the talents and the ability um, to you know, be able to play softball on a daily basis. Um, I definitely wanna thank my parents because without them, uh, throughout life, them support me um, in every single way possible. I wouldn't be sitting here right now. And um, also I wanna thank my coaches for believing in me and giving me the opportunity um, to play Division One softball here. And lastly, but not least, definitely my teammates. Um, my teammates are literally so special to me. They've pushed me over the years to become a better player, a better person. And um, from coming with me um, early before practice, staying late, they they always support me in everything I do and um, always call me to be a better player, always call me to be a better person. And um, to my teammates, I could never say enough words to them show them how grateful I am for them over the years. It's been a lot to be part of this era of Colonel Softball just because of all the people who have come before us and all the people who will come after us. You know, hopefully we have bettered the program um, from the foundation that the people before ha us have laid. And then I really hope that the people who come after us can continue to grow our program and have even more success than we have. We definitely have a lot of support here at home, and we win a lot at home. So those two things are the best parts of playing at home, knowing that I can look in the stands and see familiar faces. I can look down the lines, and there's people lined up against the fence that I know almost everyone in the ballpark, um, and there's no other feeling that's like winning a home game, um, celebrating with your team, and then going to eat with your family last home series against HBU, it was the, uh, in the seventh inning, we were on defense, me and Callie uh, were working to get a batter out, and I think we had about two strikes on her, we had two outs for sure, and the crowd just started cheering, and me and Callie looked at each other, and we just got so sentimental at that point, like, we just... Our hearts are just filled with gratitude that we were able to have that opportunity. Um, it was just like an unforgettable moment. 
are just so grateful for that opportunity. Um, you know, it's just a fun moment. One time we were warming up before a game in the bullpen and Callie said, hey, I wonder what would happen if a car ran over a ball. I bet that it would get smashed. Like I bet it would, it would, you know, uh, <laughs> it would be deformed. And so someone ended up like throwing a ball on the, on the road and that's how the conversation came up. And everyone in the bullpen just completely roasted her and just was like, Callie, that's so dumb. It would not be deformed. Like there's no way that a softball would even be affected by something running over it. So that same game, a foul ball gets hit on the road and a car runs over the ball and the ball gets thrown back into the park and it comes in the dugout and the ball is deformed. It is like flatter than a normal ball. So in the middle of the game, the whole bullpen signed the ball and put it in Callie's bag. So after she was, uh, after she got out or, you know, scored or whatever she did and that at bat, she came into the dugout to find the ball that, and we were, you know, it was just kind of funny that she was right and we were all wrong and we roasted her for no reason. So that's kind of been the bullpen joke um, of the past two years. I love the fact that I consider myself from around here. Nichols is like my home college. I'm from Pierre Port, so I only live about 45 minutes away from here. So it means a lot to know that when I have nickels or kernels across my chest, that who I'm playing for. You know, I'm playing for uh, my home team. I love who Nichols is. I love who I get to represent. I love the people who work at Nichols, the people who go to Nichols, the people who support Nichols. So it's really special um, to be able to represent a school that I love so much. Of course, I'll have to thank God for giving me an opportunity and just blessing me with um, the gifts and talents that he's blessed me with. And then have to th thank my dad for catching me in the backyard for so many years and pushing me out of my comfort zone. Um, I have to thank my mom too for just being supportive and listening every time I needed her to listen to me and just keeping me level-headed throughout my career. Coach Jay deserves a huge thank you uh, for everything she's done for me throughout my career because not only has she constantly reminded me that she cares about me as a person, but she's also pulled the best out of me as a player. Um, she's been very patient. She's loved me very well over the years, and she's kept the competitive uh, fire in me and just been very motivating, and um, she's taught me so much. I didn't realize how much I didn't know about softball until I got here and was had the opportunity to be coached by Coach Jay. It's not really a true feeling about it. I mean, when we got here our freshman year, uh, me, Casey, Megan, Red, and uh, Ronnie really decided that we were going to set a tone to this program. I remember we would have specific dinners. We would go hit in the cage late at night after practice and we would be like, this is the group that's going to do it. And then adding May and Callie to the mix, it just set the tone even capitalizing even more. Um, I would say it's a great feeling, but I kind of had a feeling when we all met together that we were going to make a change at some part. And it's, it's a huge change um, on and off the field. So it's a great feeling to have uh, being a huge part of this program. For me, being an out-of-state kid, um, it's absolutely amazing to have a, such a community family base, um, fan base to come and watch us play and cheer us on. And for me to have that, because um, I know some of the local girls here have all their families come out, my, my family does come out, but just to have that extra community spirit, it's just a great feeling to play at home. And I'm really excited for this weekend against Southeastern. Favorite moment? would probably be around my sophomore year. It was the South and Conference Tournament and coach, uh, I started to get back into play. Um, and there was a runner on third and it was Haley Stevenson. And we were playing against Lamar to get the first win to go into semifinals. And I hit this ball straight up the middle. And right then and there, I knew that this team and this program uh, sticks through with you to the end. And my second one would probably be last, uh, last year when we won the conference. The moment that Sam caught the glove, at, caught the out at first base, everyone was just screaming and everything. I would say that was also my favorite moment. Probably my most memorable, it's not really more on the funny side, but probably my most memorable is 
when at the end of last year of our conference tournament, the day after I got very, very sick and I had to go to the hospital to have an uh, appendix uh, rupture to remove the surgery and assist removal. And of course, like I acted very different in the hospital, but that's a whole different story. Um, after I got done, I, the first person I saw was Coach Jay and we first get into the hospital room and of course like I'm so sad about myself and not happy because you know I don't want to be sick I don't want to miss finals and I want to stay strong for our team and coach Jay looks at me and she says are you ready and I was like yes and everybody walked in and that's when I knew that's probably one of my favorite memorable moments I know it's not on the field but off the field I know that these girls are my sisters and the coaches are my family so I know when I leave here I can call any of these people whenever I need to so I would say that the meaning of being a colonel is you are family and you will always be family. No matter where you go, no matter where you are, you can always call them upon at any time. Coaches, players, the community. There's a lot of people I've met and I will cherish them forever. The coaches were deciding to recruit me to come here because I was a very last minute, but I thank them a lot for having trust in me to help this program and with the other seniors that are here. Um, I would say fellow teammates and last and most importantly my parents um, I could not be here without them so yeah I think it's it's really special to us because like I think this group of seniors um, especially because when we got here the program was moving in the right direction and one of our goals was to make sure that we contributed to that and um, it's just really great to be a part of a family here and um, it, it's my second family, my home away from home, and um, I think that being a part of this era and um, being able to win, but also being able to make um, an impact on the community, I think has been one of the biggest things that I that I have enjoyed. When we play at home, especially the beginning of our couple of years, we took a lot of pride in being at our field because we did a lot of work in our field, and it was 100% our field, and, and we did everything for it. And I think that when we played there, we were able to, like, be at our best because we knew that, like, hey, we're, this is what we work hard for. This is where we practice. This is, this is where we get better. And um, I think that that's continued throughout the past four years. Like, we love playing at home. We love being able to look in the stands and, and seeing people that, you kn people that you know, people that you don't know, and people that are just really excited about softball in the community. And that's really exciting. I like to look up and when I see like younger girls that have their, jer their their team jerseys on and when they enjoy watching us play I think that's the biggest part is getting the community involved and being able to see people that are enjoying what we're doing as a team. There's been a couple that I like that I remember really well but um, this year this past year um, like you said I'm from Houston and um, we haven't in the past years before when I was committed here they, we always played at Sam, we always played at HBU, and so I would go watch, because I was coming here. And then in my past four years, we haven't played at Sam at all, so we've never really played close to my home. Um, but this year, we were in the Houston tournament, and um, so a, a big portion of my family was there. And um, I got to uh, come in in a situation where we were close to a run roll, and um, I hit a, a walk-off home run, and the best part was like my family was there and they were able to see it because they don't get to come all the time when we're away. Um, and so having my family there to see that for me was really probably the most, like the biggest moment for me. I think that there's a lot of funny stories. Most of them involve me like falling um, in some shape or fashion. Um, I really, there's not anything that is we're just a team that really enjoys to be together and we really like being in each other's company and I think it like is really well shown in our bullpen because the conversations that we have out there are they're really special to me and and they're one of the biggest things that I'm gonna take away from this program and being able to laugh and have fun with my teammates and um, just anything that we do out there is funny so really any time in the bullpen is my favorite. <laughs> I really like the atmosphere that we create here. Um, no matter if we're home or away, we're always a respectable team that comes in, we get our job done, and it's not always about winning. It's about being good people and, and being able to 
leave this knowing that I have lifelong friends and I have coaches that cared about me as people before players and I just think that's really big and I love being a part of a team that does that but also wins and I think that's how we do get so many wins. I first and foremost want to thank my family. Um, between my parents and my sisters they are my just favorite thing. Um, they're always there for me um, and uh, I could not do anything that I do without them and um, they are really a big part of like how I'm here and the person that I am um, and then I would like I want to thank the coaches for um, giving me the opportunity to be here and um, supporting me through everything and um, I also want to thank um, my teachers and my instructors because without them I would not have made it through um, both nursing and softball they have just gotten me through everything and I love them so much I can't say enough good things about them and um, and lastly I want to thank my teammates because um, they really make coming to practice worth it and um, I'm gonna miss them <laughs>